Hi and welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to look at the different Namecheap hosting products. So I'll explain the different hosting products provided by Namecheap. So why am I doing this video? Somebody was using one of the Namecheap hosting services and they couldn't find cPanel. So they were wondering, where is my cPanel? And I was able to explain to them. And by the end of this video, you're going to understand which Namecheap products you need and which one you don't. So you will have an idea of which one you should go for depending on your needs. So let's go to Namecheap and we're going to look at the different Namecheap hosting products. So if you'll be buying anything from Namecheap, I will highly appreciate your support. I'll provide the links to the different hosting products in the description below. If you come to the Namecheap website, you're going to see the different hosting products and other products such as domains. So I'm going to assume you know about domains. You can buy domains from Namecheap. You can transfer your domains to Namecheap and all other services that are related to domains. We're not going to look at that now. We're going to go into hosting. So here under hosting, you're going to look at the difference between all these different products. And by the end, you'll have an idea of what each of these products are used for. So the first one is shared hosting. Let's talk about shared hosting. Namecheap shared hosting is one of the cheapest. The thing is, the resources on the server are shared and you can host your website depending on your plan and you're going to see the plans for shared hosting. cPanel is provided with a shared hosting and you can choose whether you want your servers to be in the US, UK or the EU. If you choose US or EU, there's no extra charge. If you choose UK, there's $1 a month extra charge. And you can host multiple websites depending on the plan that you choose. So if you come here under hosting, you click on shared hosting. Let's look at the pricing for this. So for shared hosting, you can see it's one of the most affordable, to be honest with you. Not even affordable. This is pretty cheap. If you decide your billing cycle is yearly, then this is what you'll pay per month. If you decide that your billing cycle is two years, that's what you'll pay per month but you'll pay in advance. So if you go for the yearly plan, you'll only need to pay $22 for that, 34 for that, and then 58. So all these details are here. You can come in here and look at them. So as I've said, this comes with cPanel. So if you don't understand shared hosting, I can explain. So I will try and explain shared hosting quickly. Let's say that that is one server. That is one server on Namecheap. And in this server, they will install cPanel to manage the server. And cPanel is going to enable you to create your website, manage your websites, and email, and so on. So in, inside of this server, let's say they install cPanel. So that's our cPanel. And then inside of cPanel, they can have multiple users, including you. So these users will have their websites, their emails, and anything that they want to do on their server. Anything they want to host on their server will be under their user. So here inside of cPanel, let's say we have different users. Maybe that's you. That's another user. That's another user. So these are different users on the cPanel account. So this is why it's called shared. You can see it's being shared by all these different individuals, including you. So each user will have their website there. Perhaps you have one website. This user has three websites and this other user has multiple websites depending on their plan. So we're going to look at how many websites you can have in each of the different shared plans. So you can see one of the downsides of shared hosting is that if someone is using too much resources, it may affect the performance of your website, but it depends on the server that the shared hosting plan is running on. So that's it for shared hosting. Let us just look at how many websites you can have with each plan. For this, you can have three websites and the other two unlimited websites. You can come in here and read more about the shared Namecheap hosting. And it's one of the most affordable, to be honest with you. Now, if I come here under hosting again, we're going to go into WordPress. The WordPress hosting is also known as EasyWP. WordPress hosting is a managed service. The difference between this and the shared hosting plan is that this is a managed WordPress hosting service. And you don't have to worry about installing WordPress, managing WordPress, all that is done automatically using the EasyWP setup. 
Namecheap is in charge of all of that. It is also very affordable compared to other managed WordPress services. It is very affordable with the WordPress managed hosting. You will not get cPanel, but you will get a dashboard where you can manage your website. And I do have a tutorial that shows you how to use the EasyWP dashboard to manage your WordPress website. And Namecheap also provides free migration. Now, a major difference with WordPress hosting and shared hosting is that one website is all you get with WordPress hosting. If you need another website, you have to subscribe for another plan. So you're going to look at the pricing for the plans and then you'll understand this. So with shared, you saw that you can get three websites and unlimited websites depending on your plan. So if you want to host many websites on the same cheap server, you can go with shared hosting and then choose the plan that is right for you. Under EasyWP, WordPress hosting, the pricing for this starts at $2.91 per month. And if you choose to be billed monthly, you can get the first month free. If you go for the yearly plan, you can see the pricing is massively reduced. And you'll only pay $34 per year, and then it will renew at $48 per year. That's the first one. And for this, note that you get one website. So if you want another website, on any of these plans, you'll need to subscribe again for that website for another EasyWP plan. So if you want to host three websites with this plan, you see you'll need to get three of that if that is a plan you want to go with. And it's important to note you don't get cPanel with EasyWP. So after EasyWP, if you come back to hosting, you see you have reseller hosting. We're going to look at that later. but. For now, let's just talk about VPS hosting. VPS hosting is a virtual server that you get from Namecheap. So with this server, you can install whatever you need in there. This is like getting your own getting your own virtual machine from Namecheap. VPS stands for virtual private server. So your virtual private server is your virtual machine provided to you by Namecheap. And on this server, you can install whatever you need. If you want to run anything, you can run it on this VPS. For instance, if you want to run multiple websites, you can install cPanel or you can install any free control panel and use that to manage your websites. You have root access and that gives you the power to install anything you need on that virtual machine. If you're already on another platform, you can go to Namecheap support and request free transfer. They can assist you with that. When you're buying the VPS, you can choose to install a control panel and here they have Webuzo, they have Interworks and cPanel. But this is really not that big a deal because if you don't want to use any of this, just set up your server, log in via SSH and you can follow any one of my tutorials to install a free control panel like HTSCP, CyberPanel or VirtualMin. For this, you can pay monthly, quarterly or yearly depending on your plans. But my advice is always pay monthly. This way, if you don't like to use the VPS plan, you can always migrate to another cloud provider. Under VPS hosting, you can see you can subscribe monthly, quarterly, or yearly. And you can see, depending on the period, you get some discount. As I said, if you're not certain about using them, you can always start monthly and see how it goes. And then after that, you can change to quarterly or yearly. I'm sure if you contact support, you can definitely get to pay quarterly or yearly. So this are the server specs that you get for each of the provided pricing. So you can see the control panels I told you, Web, Uzo, Interworks, cPanel, and then there's also an option for, if you don't want to manage the server yourself, you can subscribe for $25 a month. If you want complete server support, Linux server support, if you come here on our website, you'll see we provide Linux server support. Here under pricing, let's go and I'm going to explain not explain, but just show you the pricing for Linux server support. One time setup. These are the current prices. They may increase in future. We can set up the VPS server or dedicated server and install a control panel and then install WordPress in there or whatever you want to run on your server. And if you need monthly server support, Linux server support, that is, it's $19 per month currently. You don't know. Maybe that price might increase in future. So, You'll get regular support. We'll look at the server. We'll, we'll look after the server. We'll back up the server and 
just make sure that everything is running fine and in case anything goes wrong we can migrate you to a different server if you're our client let's just come here and so once again let's say that is one server that Namecheap has set aside they're going to use for VPS. So what they can do is they will install a virtualization layer here that they can use to virtualize this server so that they can give you the impression that you're using an actual computer, but what you're using is a virtual server. Let's say this here is a, the virtualization layer that they're using. So once they do that and you create your account, you can also create your own computer in their virtual computer. So there you'll have your virtual computer where you can install anything. So this is not cPanel like it is here. Uh, this is a virtualization software. Uh, I don't want to go into the technical stuff or technical part of this. So let's just say this is a virtualization software that they will use to manage the virtual computers. So once you create your account, you can create your virtual machine there. And then someone else might create a virtual machine. Someone else will also create a virtual machine there. So these are different people, or maybe it's just you creating the different virtual machines. So on this machine, you can install cPanel. And then inside cPanel, you can have as many websites as you need to. Maybe this other individual on their machine, they will install Docker, and then they can use that to run multiple docker images for different websites maybe they're running python uh, php laravel even java you can run whatever you need here this other guy will just have a php website running here and they'll install the software needed to run the website so this is like a computer you can install what you need inside here so that's what a vps is okay let's look at the second last one which is dedicated servers dedicated servers Unlike virtual machines, this is an actual physical server that you rent from Namecheap. So it might take some time for it to get set up depending on how Namecheap does it. But just know that this is like having your own computer on Namecheap, on the Namecheap data center. So this is an actual physical computer that you rent from Namecheap and you can do whatever you want with this. These are the prices for that. You can get that. So just come here, look at the different prices. And then down here as well, there are different options. You can you can get servers with, with older hardware. For instance, let's click on that. You can see this. You can also look at the different servers that are under these categories. So just click and see which dedicated servers you can get from here. So dedicated servers, we've looked at that. We've said the single tenant, which means you're not sharing it with anyone. With this one as well, you can install what you need. You can ask Namecheap support for free transfer if you need that. You can also install these control panels that Namecheap provides during the setup stage. But this is not really a big deal because you can do this later using any control panel of your choice. And then server management, you can choose whether you want Namecheap to manage the server on your behalf and the prices are on that dedicated server page. And you can pay monthly, quarterly or yearly. And then finally, reseller hosting. If you want to resell Namecheap shared hosting, you can get reseller hosting. Reseller hosting allows you to, to white label your brand. So you'll use your own brand and they will provide you cPanel, Unfortunately, I didn't see anywhere where they provide the billing software. And this is one of the most important parts of reseller hosting. So depending on the plan that you choose, just add the cost of the billing software. And billing software that I'm thinking about in this case are WHMCS, Blaster, or Client Exec. These are some famous billing software that you can use to resell web hosting. So if you come back to hosting, let's go to reseller hosting. And you can read more about it. You can look at the pricing, which is right there. Another use case for reseller hosting is, let's say you build websites. You can say that we'll build the website and host it for free. You just build the website and charge and make sure that the cost of hosting the website is included in your original package. And if you need help with that, as I said, you can come to our website 
just feel free to talk to me and I will be able to help you with that. All right, so I believe that should cover all the hosting products that I wanted to talk about in this video. We can look at some other honorable mentions such as business email. If you need email, especially for EasyWP, with EasyWP, you will not get email. So you'll have to buy email as an extra service and you can buy that and use your own custom domains so that you appear more professional to your clients. And then you can also buy SSL from Namecheap. You can go to the SSL page and see how much they charge for the SSL. And then first VPN is Namecheap's VPN. If you want it, you can get it and it's very affordable as well. Let's come back and look at the pricing for what we just talked about. Business email. Business email, you can see the pricing for that. Start from this side. Very affordable. SSL certificates, you can find that under security. Look at the pricing for the different SSL SSL certificates that you can get from Namecheap. And then under security as well, I spoke about first VPN. So VPN, and I do have a tutorial for how to use this VPN on Windows. So if you want to use it, you can find that tutorial. If I don't put the link in the description, just let me know. So you can get the VPN. How much is it? It is one year plan, 157 per month. The first month, you can get it for that. And then the second month, it will be 799, which is very high. They're just trying to encourage you to get the yearly plan. So for the first year, you'll pay like $18, $19, and then it will renew at roughly $34. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. And if you need WordPress or Linux server support, you can find our services and pricing here. So this is for Linux server support. If you want to include WordPress and Linux server support, these are the pricing. You can read through and see what we can do for you. Right, that pretty much covers what I wanted to do in terms of Namecheap hosting. So if you have any questions about this, by now I'm sure most of them have been answered. And if you still have any questions, just leave a comment below and I will see how to assist you. See you next time.